Buffalo, a city of heartbreak, rain, Darren Eats, as well as monster mac and cheese. What you're seeing is Mooney's famous 11 pound mac and cheese challenge. This thing is absolutely crazy. And afterwards, I'm gonna be lazy. I have 30 minutes to eat this. Let's jump in. Hey everyone, it's Heavy D here, nursing a little bit of a cold, but I'm gonna be bold and give you all here a less than stellar five out of 10 voiceover. We're here, like I said, in Buffalo at one of the many locations of the Mooney Mac and Cheese Challenge. Now, I just want you all to know, Darren eats and I let this thing cool down for about 20 to 30 minutes. Darren ate his whole entire meal before I started, and this is still steaming hot. Now, there's a lot of funny things that happened here today. What can we say? Let's start off with number one. We walked in. I had seen a video of uh, Josh the goat doing this challenge, and it didn't look too bad. His was below this lip, and it wasn't uh, that bad. It looked maybe six, seven pounds. Then I saw another video that Molly did this, and Molly's video uh, was over the top, and hers was huge, bigger than what I have here today. And so I was lucky, and we're splitting the difference with this monster 11-pound macaroni and cheese challenge. But that's where it also gets funny. So the guy brings it out. The whole restaurant stops because they rarely see this challenge, um, rarely see the challenges get brought out. And I, actually, a lot of the regulars didn't even know they had this challenge, even though it's on the menu. So I thought that was kind of crazy. With that being said, though, um, I asked the uh, chef, I go, hey, man, this is big. How big is this? He looked Darren and I in the face. He goes, this is 30 pounds. I don't know if that guy needs to hit a gym or what, but uh, this is not 30 pounds. This is a solid 11 ass pounds. And let's jump to it. Pasta, cereal, rice. Those foods are always my toughest challenges and it's more mentally than it is anything physically. As you see, I've been eating for a solid roughly 13 minutes and I am now just starting to believe I've made a dent. But for the first five, seven, nine minutes of these challenges when you're dealing with pasta, rice, cereal, all those, you just keep eating. And then when you dip that down, it's like you're not seeing a dent. You gotta take a little bit of a break. You don't see that progress for a while. And uh, honestly, I am just more surprised here that I do not have more sweats because we all know I'm the sweatiest eater in competitive eating. And this stuff was steaming hot still, which made it great, made it easier to eat. But honestly, what made this challenge the best is we've been driving all day. We drove for eight hours. I was hungry as fuck. Well, I guess I spoke too soon about not getting sweaty and ready because here we are and you're starting to see the sweat creep down the neckline. Um, you know, it's been 20 minutes of solid eating. I can see the end. It's almost there. And I'm just trying to power through. I will tell you as an eater and Darren was laughing. It's like when you sit on the water and you start drinking water, you start drinking everything. Um, it's really tasty. And then it kind of gets dull. You get flavor fatigue. That first step of Diet Pepsi is literally goddamn godly. Like it is so amazing. It just hits, it's delicious. 
these are the parts and challenges. I'm starting to leave them in. I used to kind of cut it out because it got boring and whatnot to me. But that's where I say it's close yet far and people go, oh my God, you're so close. Just hurry up and shove it in. Don't work like that. Shove it in too fast. You're going to see the beautiful Niagara waterfalls. Now, thank you all for tuning into this week's adventure. We got some great ones coming your way. New videos weekly, so make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Let me know down below if you would give this challenge a go, and have a great day. Peace.